Germany and Austria closing their borders to refugees could lead to quite a disaster, the words of Slovenia's Prime Minister. Miro Sarra spoke after a meeting of EU and Balkan leaders in Brussels. There, they burned the midnight oil, thrashing out a 17-point agreement on dealing with the flow of migrants fleeing war and poverty, mainly from Syria. Let's hear what the Slovenian leader had to say. Uh, there is some fear uh, in the air that Germany and consequently Austria as well could close their borders, which would lead to a domino effect, which would be quite a disaster, if I may say so, for the Europe for the European Union. So among the key decisions, tougher border checks, making use of biometric data to register and track migrants. Also, with winter looming, bigger reception centres in Greece are in the pipeline in conjunction with the UN's refugee agency. Jean-Claude Juncker, the European Commission president, called for the EU to remain united. Il n'y aura pas de solution miracle. He said there is no miracle solution. Shutting the borders is not a long-term solution. The solution is to behave as Europeans with solidarity and responsibility by agreeing to join our legislative, financial and operational policies. Europe cannot be built against. Europe must be built, each one with the other. But whilst the diplomatic wrangling goes on in Brussels, the migration wave flowing across Europe shows no sign of stopping. Russia's recent airstrikes to help prop up Syrian government forces could even exacerbate this. The political consequences, further support for Moscow-friendly political parties in the EU. But for these people, it's the last thing on their mind. Winter is coming. Children wait patiently in the cold, the conditions inhumane. Angela Merkel, Germany's chancellor, described the current crisis as the greatest litmus test that Europe has ever faced. Only time will tell whether crisis can unite a divided European bloc.